guys, I'm back! Woo! So for today's video, I'm gonna be recreating this very natural, glowy, no makeup makeup look. Look at that highlight. Look at that highlight, I know. I just keep watching to know what highlighter I use. <laughs> so this look literally took me like 6-7 minutes to recreate, so it's pretty easy. This is basically what I do on a day-to-day -day basis to my face. So basically my goal with this look is for people to be like, oh, wait, is she wearing makeup? Well, if she's not, then damn, does she look good. So if you're interested to see how I recreated this very natural, glowy, no makeup, makeup look, then keep on watching. The base for everything is moisturizer. So for moisturizer, I'm gonna be using the N7 Protect and Perfect Intense Day Cream. And it has SPF 30 in it, which is always a bonus. Okay, so now that I literally look like my face is wet, I'm ready. I'm gonna be using my Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation in the shade 2.15. I'm literally gonna be using the tiniest bit of it in the back of my hand. See that? That's tiny right here. I'm just gonna be dotting the foundation all over my face. I have a lot of problem areas today. Wow. It's like my skin knows when I'm gonna film it. It's like, oh yeah. That's a noise out today. Coming back to my trusty old beauty blender that is already damp and I'm just gonna be blending that out. Don't forget to bring your foundation down your neck and onto your ears. But I just got my ears pierced, as you guys can tell. I'm just leaving them because they're still healing. All good with the foundation and what I really like about this foundation is that it's very buildable. So now it doesn't really have that much coverage to it, but it balanced out my face and this is exactly what I wanted. Then I'm gonna be taking my Boing Concealer in the shade two, and I'm just gonna be popping this concealer on my problematic areas, which I do have a lot of today. Even with this, I'm keeping it very light and very lightweight because I don't want anything that's too cakey because still this is a very airy, natural, no makeup makeup look. On to concealer. I'm gonna be taking my ice cream concealer in the shade Custard. So I'm just gonna be taking it and very lightly applying it underneath my eye. I don't wanna apply it in a triangular shape because it'll just give me more coverage, which I don't really want today. It looks like I drew a tribal print underneath my eye. Yet again, I'm gonna be taking my beauty blender and I'm just gonna be blending that out. Okay, so now that everything's blended out and it looks good, I'm gonna be going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in the shade light to medium and I'm gonna be taking this banana shade right here and I'm just gonna be setting my under eyes with it very lightly, that's it I won't set the rest of my face because I want this look to be very dewy and still I want it to look like I'm not wearing any makeup going back to my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit I'm gonna be taking this color which is very warm on a big powder brush and I'm just gonna be kind of bronzing my face with it. Okay, so that's a trick that I like to do. I like to get a big powder brush for whenever I like to bronze. Tap, tap, tap. Blow, blow, blow. <laughs> and then I like to pinch it and then just put on my bronzer. So I'm just kind of putting it everywhere. My cheekbones, my temples, my jawline. Okay, so now that we're done with that, I'm gonna take my little Sephora tree right here, it's called Trio de Poudre. Uh, I don't know, I'm not even gonna try to attempt to pronounce it because it's written in French and I know I'm gonna botch its name. I don't know, I got it in Paris, so... Anywho, I'm gonna be taking this blush color right here. It's a very pretty color and I'm just gonna be dipping in my brush. Tap, tap, tap. Let me find the apples on my cheeks, smile. Apply it here and then just blend it upwards just a little bit. Okay, now I'm moving on to my brows. I'm gonna be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. And I'm literally gonna very lightly fill in my eyebrows. This is literally a step that I cannot miss. Like, I literally will not leave my house until I fill my eyebrows in. Now I'll just do the same thing. Just very lightly fill in my brows and feather like strokes. I'm just gonna be brushing them out so that I can distribute the product a little bit better. This hair, oh god. <gasps> now what? Yeah, so now for my eyeshadow, I know crazy eyeshadow for a no makeup makeup look. Trust me, 
this will not take any time or effort. So for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking my Sweet Peach palette. This is a very big mirror. This is so hard for me to, to try and attempt to hide it. Okay, so I'm going to be taking the color <laughs> John I'm sure, which is a brown color. I'm going to be taking that on a flat brush. And I'm just going to be applying it on my lower lash line. Just the first half of my lower lash line. And then I'm going to be taking the same color, which is Charm Dom Sure. I'm just going to be taking that. Can you see how subtle that is? You can definitely just skip this part, but I don't know, I just like this very subtle definition that it gives. Then I'm going to be going in with my eyelash curler, because this thing is a game changer, trust me. I know it looks very intimidating. I mean, just look. Like, it looks intimidating. I know. Can you see how it just made my eyelashes look fuller? Just on its own? So for my mascara, I'm going to be taking my... So for my mascara, I'm going to be taking my Benefit The Real Mascara. And what I like about this mascara is that it separates the lashes. It's not natural looking, but I'm going to use that term. So I'm just going to be applying one coat of this on my upper lashes. And when it gets to the end here, I like to brush my eyelashes outwards to give that kind of cat eye effect. See how wispy it makes the lashes look? I love it. For my highlighter, because you know, this is a glowy look, so this is basically the star of the video. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Afterglow highlight in the color Sin. And look at that, guys. I'm literally in love with it. Can you see this? I feel like this highlighter is very underrated. I don't know why, it's literally gorgeous. I'm gonna be applying it on the high points of my face just with my finger and then I'm just gonna be blending it out with a brush obviously so cheekbones down the bridge of my nose a little bit here and on my cheeks a little bit underneath my eyebrow and in my inner tear duct let me just blend that out I'm using a brush that should not be used for blending but sue me I'm using the powder brush from Too Faced I'm just gonna be blending that out Okay, so now for my lips, I'm gonna be using my Dior lipstick, which I mentioned in my what's in my bag video. If you haven't seen this already, go check it out. Self promo right here. What I love about this product is that it's literally a lipstick and a lip balm all mixed up into one. I love it, it's a two in one product. Okay guys, so this is my natural no makeup makeup look. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big ol' thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And don't forget to turn on the little notification bell to get notified whenever I upload. Just comment down below any video ideas that you want me to film later on. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!